What's up everyone, my name is Matt, and I'm here because I believe everyone can take a professional looking photo, and it doesn't take a fancy DSLR camera to do it, all you need is your phone. Have you ever seen something really cool, taking a picture, and you say to yourself, ah, the pictures don't do it justice? Well, they truly don't, because nothing's better than your eye. However, there are a few more things that we can do than just pulling out your phone and taking a photo at eye level. So each week, I'm gonna provide you with one tip, something that I think about every time I take a photo. And then by the end of the year, you'll have 52 tips that you'll have in your arsenal, so when you're on vacation, or taking photos of your dog at home, or even your friends around the city, you'll be taking pictures that you're super proud of and can cherish for a lifetime. Okay, so for tip number one, I could have started anywhere, but chances are you're gonna take a picture of a person this week. So, here's something you can focus on, and that is stop cutting off limbs. To show you what I mean, here's an awesome image from digitalcameraworld.com. Take a look. As you can see, green means go and red means no. So let me show you what I mean. Here we have our beautiful model, Amber, and we're in this gorgeous park, and Amber. Matt, take a photo of me, please. <laughs> no problem. So. Anytime, especially a girl, if they ask me they want a picture, I, they always want the legs in it. So you gotta start back a little bit, gotta get the legs in there. But of course, if you're starting here, and you go to take your photo, and you're a little too close, and you're gonna cut off the toes, and the ankles, and Amber's smiling, super big smiles, it just looks awkward. So just take a little step back, and let's get the full body in there. And now we have a less awkward looking photo. Nice, it's perfect. And as I start to walk in, you can see, if I take a picture at, cut off at the knees, awkward, so maybe back up. Cut off the calves. Then we go in a little bit, and now we're mid-thigh, and my shadow's in her, so I'm gonna move. And now we're mid-thigh, and that photo looks better. And as I start to go closer, perfect pose. Watch out for those fingertips. If I'm cutting off fingertips, this looks stupid. Don't wanna cut off at the wrist, that also, it just looks awkward. Uh, so as I start to work in, now we're paying attention. All right, good, I can, I can cut off uh, midway at her forearm, but not at the elbow. And I still have her other hand in there. And then I'm gonna get a little bit closer, and we're gonna say, all right, that arm is out of it. And now we're just going a little bit above the elbow. And now we got a nice, perfect portrait. And you can even get as, as close as cutting off the top of the head. Even the cutting off the top of the head still looks okay. Uh, the picture shows cutting off ears, I don't know how close you have to get to do that. How's that? You're gonna love this one. <laughs> All right. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you really don't wanna cut off limbs. It looks awkward as you can tell from the pictures. So just want you to keep that in mind. If you see toes are cut off, just move back a little bit. If you're at a joint, just move forward or back and it's gonna be a lot better looking photo. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed tip number one. Tune in next week for one more tip that you can work on while taking photos. And please, if you like the video, like, subscribe, Hit the bell, and you can have photo tips at your fingertips. Ooh, did I just come up with the name? <laughs> I just came up with the name. Print the shirts, like, subscribe, and also don't forget, uh, follow me on Instagram and send your pictures to me. A ask me any questions you want. I want to engage with you, so let me know, and uh, I'll see you next week. Peace! All right. <laughs>